Hi there, it's so good that you joined me here in the dank basement. My name's Paul, and sometimes I call myself Uncle Squinty. You can call me whatever you damn well please. I don't care. I do not know this guy. I have not met him in person yet. We haven't spoken even very much or written very much by email, but he offered to hand carve me a snuff spoon out of Oryx horn. Uh, Oryx, I think, if I'm not mistaken, is like a gazelle or a impala or something, and it's got very sort of spindly, long, delicate, cool-looking horns. And I want to show you the spoon. Now, first of all, before you, I show you the bowl of the spoon, and I hope I can get this on camera, Rob, because this is, it's gorgeous. I had the color described to me as a beautiful, rich, dark brown. Um, the surface of this, my God, it is, it is so smooth this, that this could be beautifully molded acrylic. That's how smooth this horn is. He's gotten this just, it is finished, just, it's precious. And he said, before he made the spoon for me, he said, okay, Paul, you're blind. What can I do to make a snuff spoon easier to use? You know, I never thought about it. And then I did think about it. I got, here, hang on a second. This is the, you know, stainless steel snuff spoon. You know, it's like $477 or something at Mr. Snuff. <laughs> no, I exaggerate a little bit. Um, well, problem is there's no way when I start out, unless I've got my fingers all over the bowl, to know whether or not I've got the bowl upside right, right? So I said to Rob, if you could, you know, just pick a little dot, the, you know, so if it's under my thumb, I will know that the spoon is upright. And so he did that, and I'm going to hold this up to you there, and I hope to goodness you can see this. Because it is, isn't that splendid? Look at that freaking thing. I don't know what he sells these for, if he's selling them, if he is, guys, get one of these. The bowl size, I think, is going to be absolutely perfect. Um, I've got some, this is really a test, because if I can do them with crystals O and G out of the spoon without first putting it on an anatomical snuff box or boxcar or something, it's going to be the absolutely right size hit. And judging from what I feel of the bowl, it's going to be. So I'm just going to take a heap and help and right from the spoon. Cheers. <laughs> Maybe it filled a little. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Brisk. Uh, maybe I just sp filled the spoon just a little too much. Did I? Was it heaping when I brought it up to my nose, you guys? I and mean, I think I just exhaled a bunch of it all over. I am a mess. All right, here we go. Salud. Ah, that's better. Yeah. Wow, what a great gift. Rob, you are the man. Oh, thank you so very, very, very much. This is precious. This goes in with my treasures. I still haven't gotten, or I can't find, frankly, I can't find the painted handkerchiefs. I have no idea where they are. They're somewhere around here, Martin. But as soon as I find them, and I've got that sort of pornographic snuff bottle I want to show you guys again that Martin sent me. People send me some really spectacular gifts. Uh, but the real gift is that you watch my videos, that you like them, that you comment on them, that you write me at unclesquinty at gmail.com that we keep the snuff thing going because it's worth it. It's a great way to use tobacco. But listen, if you're underage, and you know what I mean, don't dick around with me. If you're underage, or if you're not currently a tobacco user, please don't start. You don't need another addiction. I believe, without a whole lot of proof for or against it, that snuff is probably one of the two safest ways of using tobacco, if you're going to use tobacco, the other being Swedish snooze. So, um, Please don't start using tobacco if you haven't yet. But if you do use it, if you smoke cigarettes or cigars or pipes or whatever, try nasal snuff. It's pretty good. From the dank basement, Paul Shelbiter. Again, thank you, Rob. You're the guy. You're my hero. The snuff spoon is gorgeous. And I'm going to get contact information so I can slap it up in the comments section maybe after the fact uh, so you guys can contact Rob and find out about getting one of these beautiful spoons. All right, thanks. Talk to you later.